YouTube family, welcome back. If you're brand new to this channel, my name is Devin on Deck. I talk about fashion and tech here. And today we're going over the 2019 update for perfect Instagram stories apps. About nine months ago, I put out a similar video to this one that currently has almost 800,000 views on it. So obviously it brought y'all tons of value. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll have a card come out here and I'll link it down below for you. But as you probably can guess, I've been experimenting this entire time with different apps so in this one I'm gonna go over the three new apps that I found two that specialize in photo one that specializes in video for IG stories so let's get started now before I walk you through these apps and show you my favorite features this will be an iPhone demonstration however I'm not leaving my Android folks out when you look down the description, you'll see iPhone links and Android links, okay? It'll be an alternative there or sometimes even the exact same app. So just know your boy got you on both sides. So first up, we have Story Lust. I would describe this as like Unfold, but like way more choices than you would get. So first of all, when you look at this first page, you have all these different ones that are like seasonal. I imagine this will change depending on the holiday or the season, but this is kind of still up from Christmas. But even these, like you look at the Kodak ones, you have just more choices and more different layouts and different compositions and all that type of stuff. So you have some that are outlined, some with tape, you have tons of different shapes in there. You have the instant ones, but these are a little bit different as well, as you can see, just different layouts. If you don't want to have the same ones as everybody else using the other apps that I put in the old video, then you have these right here. You got neon ones, I think the neon ones are really cool. Like the hello one, let's see if I can pick a photo and drop it in there. Let's see, let's check it out, boom. Hello, right? That looks really cool. I like it. Oh, and one thing I really like is they have these like pre-filled out little lists. Do you ever see like those chain lists that go around on Instagram about like, oh, what are your favorite accounts to follow? And then you like fill them in. They have all these different ones in here of like, never have I ever, which is worse, currently, favorite things, attraction, I don't know. Whatever fun games y'all like to play, I don't really use these, but some people really like them. So they are there for you, already pre-filled out. Unfortunately, you can't really edit how the words are or like what they say. I wish you could, but other than that, that's basically it. Now next up, we have Story Art. Now this is one of my favorite apps, period, right now, because it's so intuitive. Like it kind of shows you ahead of time what something's gonna look like before you decide if you wanna purchase it or not. Like a lot of these are free, like classics free, right? If I want to look at that, press a little eyeball up top, and you can kind of go through and just look at them, all right? This is already really cool, very clean, very minimal, very organized, but maybe you wanna do something a little more organic. Like one of my favorite ones that I've already paid to unlock is ink. Now ink I really love because it has these cool layouts like these with like swoops and like paint strokes, right? A little bit more creative, it's kind of unisex. You can get manly or ladylike with it, but I think they look dope. So. Say I want to use one of these, which I've already unlocked, like I said, I can grab, I don't know, this one. And then I'll go here, I can put a photo there. Boom, thank you. And a photo here. And I can even put filters on the photo too if I want to. But I don't wanna do that because I like the photo how it is. So once it's in there, I can move the photo around. Maybe I want you to see my face a little more. Maybe this one, I want you to check out my boots. So I'm gonna go zoom in on the boots here so you can see the boot game. But about then I'll go here with the text and maybe I want to change the style Maybe I want to take this style to a different type of text like I don't know This one cool, and I'm like yo check the boots then obviously you can you know change the text Check the boots BAM Pat out and obviously that's one example you can change the size of the text you can do a whole bunch of different things. You can get rid of it all together and then maybe even put in words from just Instagram, you know, by itself. But that's basically how it's gonna look when you put it on your story. That edge is kind of weird. Let me fix it because I'm OCD. There you go, that's better. All right, that's much better. That one was looking weird. But yeah, look at that. Organic is cool. I like it and you're gonna see me using this app a lot. So if you like it, you wanna get more creative and you wanna have something that everybody else don't have, I think this will be a really good choice for you. Now, last but not least on this list is the Mojo app. This is my favorite one because you guys know I love video and this is all about video. Look at these templates, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and just go through them real quick. We're talking about moving photos, animated text, okay? Let's get a little close on this one. This is a dope one. I like this one a lot. I mean, come on. How smooth is that? 
Is your mind not blown right now? Like you usually would need something like a like Final Cut Pro or Premiere to do something like this, but this is on your phone, okay? Boom, mind blown. I went ahead and got the Pro version because you know I'm all about this, but you gotta decide for yourself which ones you want to use. I mean, a lot of these are already unlocked. You already got two right here that come free on the app, but then you have to pay for the other ones. But anyway, let's go ahead and walk you through one of these. So say, I don't know, I have a company and I want to drop a new collection, right? Autumn collection, cool. So for me, since I am not dropping the autumn collection, but instead I'm dropping a new, I don't know, maybe a vlog or something, let's go ahead and replace this photo with a photo of me. And what should happen, yeah, they swiped through my own photos. Boom, so now it's replaced with the photos of me in my outfits. Okay, maybe I wanna change the text now. Let's change the text. Bam, I don't want that pink. I want something that matches my sweater. Let me go with the orange or I don't know, a gray or something. And then I want the text itself to be black. Let's go fresh winter outfit. Instead of saying swipe up to shop, I'm gonna replace it and say swipe up to watch. So now when you watch it, it's fully customized to what I wanna say. This app is fire. You have things for fashion people, you have things for music people, you can do news, you can do marketing. And you notice that once I plugged in my content from the first one, it shows me the same content in different formats. It's a beautiful thing. I love this app, but more importantly, which one of these apps is your favorite from this list? Let me know right now in the comments. If this brought you any kind of value, please give this video a thumbs up before you go. It does help me out tremendously. If you have a sub to this channel, this is the best of both worlds between the tech side and the fashion side. So you'll learn how to make better content. You'll learn how to be more successful on social media, as well as how to have more confidence, how to dress better, how to smell better, etc. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you sub real quick and hit that bell icon. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.